Hi, I'm Rum Time. What is going on, guys? It is me, Rum Time, and today we're going to talk about what I think is probably the most overpowered class in Rum the Mad God. Now, from me playing this game throughout the years, and from all the changes that have actually occurred in the game, a lot of classes have gotten reworked and have changed and gotten buffed and even nerfed a little bit. Now, there's two classes in general that I think are the most overpowered in this game and see a lot of playment in over the years. Now, we're going to talk about both of them. Now, the first one is being the knight. Now, the knight obviously is one of my favorite classes and it's probably the class that you see me playing the most, seeing how damaging and just how tanky the knight can really be maxing out at 40 def you know you're a lot higher than the original 25 defense that you get and your ability allowing you to stun which you know allowing the other uh monster or whatever you hit with your shield to not attack you now this is very very overpowered seeing as you can stun over a stun to keep it going also known as a stun chain now, the attack damage, the dex, the speed, the knight hasn't changed over the years. And he's only gotten stronger due to the new rings, crowns, and, you know, the new bracers and twilight gemstones that have came out and just made this class a lot more strong. Now, he hasn't never changed. He has never received a nerf. He was going to receive um, a nerf back... Um, I think it was around 2014 that they were going to make the knight's shield only armor break. And the Ogmer was the only one that was going to stun. But then they thought that no one had the Ogmer and no one was going to get the Ogmer. So they decided to keep the way the knight is. But seeing as new dungeons have, uh, you know, came out, a lot of things now are unable to be stunned. Like the Puppet Master's Theater and a lot of the enemies in the Shatters. Making the knight a lot weaker than what it actually is. But that's the knight. Now the knight has a lot of HP, and you if you have a very good pet, you can stun multiple times, and you can even stun forever if you have a maxed out divine pet. I'm pretty sure you can do it with a maxed out legendary, but either way, getting past 80 def and still having like a thousand HP, this class is a tank and ready to roll out. Now, the second class. Now, many of you guys might think it's the Paladin, which it was hard to decide against the Paladin or Knight. But one of the most overpowered classes to this day and still has been is the Wizard. Now, the Wizard is crazy powerful. It's not powerful in the sense that it has a lot of death and can sustain itself. It's powerful in the way that it does a lot of damage without being close to anything. Now, the wizard is, of course, the first class that you unlock, but it's also the most powerful class you can get. Now, with the dex maxing out at 75, and your attack maxing out at 75, while you're shooting two bullets out of your, um, out of your staff, it's a very powerful class. And with that range, you're going to be bursting around, I don't know, 200 damage or 180 throughout every other, you know, shot that you're doing. So you're doing two shots, so that's about like 500 damage. Oh, the guy noticed me. So that's about 500 damage with just your staff. This class has a spell that allows you to, you know, whenever you hit spacebar, of course, everyone knows what it does, but... Landing one of those can do the most damage out of any ability in the game. If you land one of those perfectly, it could do maybe like 1 to 2k damage. But getting a perfect spell bomb is not too easy, so usually people just spray it everywhere and just hope for the best out of it. Now, you could argue that the wizard is, you know, obviously it doesn't have a lot of depth, seeing as it's the class of, uh, of uh, a robe. But then again, what's the point of getting close to enemies and if if you don't need to? Because with your range, with your Oh, with your range and with your um 
damage that you're already bursting out on the character, there's no point of getting close anyways. But anyways, guys, that's my opinion. If you got your own opinion, put it down in the comments below, and I'll look up on it. I'm Realm Time, and see you later.